I just want you to see how big this roof is guys I'm just gonna turn the camera over that's the roof on this side there's more on the other side with all the awnings around it and this side too so today's first day pressure cleaning prepping this roof for spray painting we're gonna use a different product for this time uh, that's why I'm recording this video so you can see the difference between different products as well so stay tuned and before I forgot don't forget to like share and subscribe for us So the pressure cleaning is done. It was a big project. I started doing the touch-ups on the rust on the screws. There's a lot of rusted screws and I'm pretty much finished this side and I have another half of the house to do. And I'm gonna fix up some screws as well. They're a little bit loose. Once I do that, it's gonna be ready for spray painting. One sealer and two top coats. As I mentioned already, we're gonna use a different product this time. So this is the product that I'm using for touch up on a rust on the screws. It's a rust converter and that's what it does. So far so good. I'm gonna continue having fun by doing this massive roof. The biggest so far. That's a right side and that's a left side. As I said. Big roof. So what I have to do now is repair all these screws that are popping out and replace it with new ones. See this one it doesn't have a rubber at all. It needs to have a rubber what I mean by that needs to have a rubber underneath there so seals water from going underneath the carbon and when you do this you don't hit it all the way down I don't wanna damage the rubber underneath I just leave it like that so it's sealed properly this one looks good as well like that so i'm gonna just continue so this is the product i'm gonna use before painting spray and walk away to kill all the mold and moss that's been on this roof and there's been quite a lot on this side of the roof where the sun doesn't get too much Pretty much all the prep is done. This is uh, how it everything looks from above. Now you can see how many touch-ups I've done on uh, rusty screws. So many of them. It's not funny. So I'm about to start spraying roof uh, undercoat using uh, tip size uh, 414, low pressure tip.
got this done pretty much it looks like it's all finished and <laughs> it doesn't need any painting and that's how good this undercoat is guys so starting a first coat uh, roof membrane spraying use a uh, tip size that I'm using is 415 so this is a low pressure tip about 1800 PCI's so here we go So I'm about to finish the first coat spraying. It's not pleasant to work on this wind. So I'm just gonna finish it off and knock off. We used about 5,000 liters for top coat. Five drums of paint for undercoat. So yeah, so far 10. And another five that will make uh, all up 15 drums of paint for this massive roof. Spraying second coat using one 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 five tip low pressure tip. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, on this project I've used different products. Uh, this is the primer I've used for this roof, it's a metal primer. And this is the roof membrane that I've used. So anyone asking what's the name or what's the color, that's the color. Product wise, this is a really good product to use on a metal roof, especially this primer. It's so good. I'm very pleased with this primer, roof MX primer, and it's very thick primer. Same, uh, it's got same thickness as a, as a paint uh, itself, as a roof membrane. It's very, very plasticky, like, and it sticks to the roof very well. And these are the steps. If you want to know the steps how to do the roofs, you get one of these brochures from the uh, paint shop that sells the roof paint and. You have uh, steps here for tile roof or metal roof. This is the metal roof steps, what needs to be done. So this will be it for this time guys, um, till next time, stay safe, cheers.